Hello guys, welcome to Code Studio. In this session, we will try to learn how to create primary ledger in Oracle Cloud ERP. So, what is primary ledger? A primary ledger is a main record keeping ledger. Like any other ledger, a primary ledger records the transactional balances okay, by using a four elements called chart of accounts, accounting calendar, currency, and subledger accounting method. Okay. To create a primary ledger, we need to create or enable four C's that is calendar, currency, chart of accounts and accounting convention. It's nothing but accounting method. So let's perform first task that is an accounting calendar. We need to create an accounting calendar. So what is accounting calendar? So basically it will be a physical or financial year calendar which is required to associate with the primary ledger and also perform the accounting dates in a transactions in a subledger applications like you know ap ar etc now let us see how to create accounting calendar to create accounting calendar follow this navigation setup and maintenance task manage implementation project select your project and search the task called manage accounting calendar okay so now, so these two are same tasks associated with the different offerings. Okay, so let us click anyone. Manage accounting calendar. Click on go to task. These are the existing calendars. So let us create a new. Let us enter all the required fields. It will be the first date of our fiscal year. Select your period frequency like monthly quarterly weekly yearly so usually we select period frequency as a monthly select the adjusting period frequency once at the year end now also you can set the period name format so i'll leave this as as is month and year click on next once you click on next automatically system will create all the periods of that year start from january to december and also it will create an adjusting period okay now you can save and close this now we can see newly created calendar. now the second step is to enable the currency it is also called as a ledger currency or a functional currency which is required to associate with the primary ledger and also it will be used by transactions in the sub ledger applications by default all currencies will be enabled by the oracle but better to make sure currency is enabled which we need it for our primary ledger you can also disable the currencies which company does not require. So let us see how to enable or disable the Search currency. Search manage currencies to enable or disable the currency. So this is the task. Manage currency, click on go to task. Just click on search to see what are the currencies being enabled. Okay. So all these currencies are already available and it's enabled also in our example we would like to use usd currency for our primary ledger so let us see whether usd is enabled or not okay this is the currency and it is enabled now let us see the next step third step to create chart of accounts the chart of accounts is a list of all financial accounts included in the financial statement of any company it provides a way to categorize all of the financial transactions that a company conducted during a specific accounting period the main account types includes like you know the revenue expenses assets liability and equity the chart of account make it easy to prepare information for evaluating a financial performance of any company at any given time in cloud erp oracle allows maximum 30 segments and minimum two segments that is a company and account but in generally client will have minimum uh, five to nine segments with some future segments for more information about chart of accounts please check my previous video where we have discussed what is chart of account and how to create in oracle cloud erp to create or see the existing chart of account search the task called manage chart of account structure now 
no clear select any of these tasks so basically we create chart of account structure instance which can be associated with dpl that is to our primary ledger we have already performed all these uh, tasks in our previous video that is uh, how to create chart of account so let us see our existing chart of account which can be used for our primary ledger so select go to task search with the module as general ledger select the key flex field click on the manage structure instance search with our uh, chart of account instance so this is the chart of account instance which was created in the previous session i'll be using the same chart of account instance for our primary ledger okay so select this instance and let us see what are the segments that are being defined so these are the five segments being defined for this chart of account instance okay now the fourth step is accounting method accounting method is required for application transactions like your payables purchasing oracle has given default accounting method which can be used for our primary ledger so basically accounting method is used to define the rules which tells that system like which account to be debited or credited so let us see where can we can find the accounting method to create or uh, check the existing accounting method search the task called manage accounting method select any one of this task manage accounting method so these are the existing uh, seeded methods accounting methods okay they are given with oracle so we will be using this method for our primary ledger okay fifth step create primary ledger once we are done with the above four steps like you know uh, creating accounting calendar enabling the currency creating a chart of accounts and uh, accounting method now we can create a primary ledger let us see how to create primary ledger search the task see. called manage primary ledger go to task create new primary ledger enter all the required fields select the chart of account accounting calendar currency and accounting method okay so now click on save and close now you can see the primary ledger is created set up ledger option as we have already created a primary ledger now we need to set up some ledger options like setting up the retained earning account and some other properties so let us see how to set up the ledger options select this task select specific ledger option click on go to task and configure the all the required fields such as journal language retained earning account basically this this account is required to calculate the profitability of company at ledger level okay so just click on this select the company department and the account should be retained earning okay and now click on save and close so till now we have created a primary ledger and configured the ledger options still there are some steps pending before completing the ledger definition like you know the creating a legal entity assigning legal entity to the primary ledger assigning balancing segments to the legal entity etc okay so this can be done in the next video now let us see how to find whether the primary ledger definition is completed or not so search search your primary ledger okay now you can see the status is in process now once you perform the other remaining task okay this uh, status will get changed to complete we will see those remaining steps in next video that's all for now i hope you understood how to create primary ledger and all the four c's if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you